Oh my god, what do I talk about? I want to come back to YouTube, but I have no idea what to talk about, like, at all. <sighs> if only there was, like, some huge shitstorm, like, right around the corner, or maybe something that I missed that I could've just... Oh my god, thank you, Blizzard. So Blizzard got on the horse cock known as the mobile... <laughs> So Blizzard got on this horse cock known as the mobile market and decided to ride that pony all the way to the bank by releasing Diablo Immortal. Play on your phone. Most hardcore experience you'll have on a four inch screen. So this is just straight up just a fucking port of a Chinese Diablo-esque game that was already developed by a bunch of weirdo Chinese dudes that are now helping out Blizzard by making the the version of Diablo Immortal, so it's like a clone of a clone. Who fucking cares? It's a fucking stupid idea. Essentially, they hired a bunch of babies who used to work at a bunch of dirty, shady sweatshops in China that have now digivolved into fully formed programmers and are now willing to do anything, anything for Yuan or however you pronounce their currency. Yuan, some money? Yes, okay. Anyways, people were mad because that's what people do. Maybe this time around they have a good reason though. However, as someone who doesn't actually play Diablo nor even considers himself a Diablo fan by any stretch of the imagination, it's hard to look at the situation and not to think maybe that perhaps this was more motivated by passion and hardcore gamers than it was by logical or rational arguments. So please understand that while I don't or ever will understand your frustration as Diablo fans, Fans, I can at least understand your frustrations as a consumer and as a gamer girl of 14 years, baby. The big problem with this whole thing is that, well, it's a big slap in the fucking face by Blizzard. There's nothing more demoralizing than having one of your favorite gaming companies, the one you consider trendsetters, suddenly follow trends. Blizzard, the company that made an MMO that cannot and will not stop no matter what. Say what you want about Battle for Azeroth, there's no other MMO giant as big as WoW. And then they killed it with Hearthstone, and then they killed it with Esports, with the likes of StarCraft, and then later on with Overwatch. And then, you know, Heroes of the Storm exists, I guess, too, you know. Does it really exist, though? It doesn't really. Does it? Actually, yes, it does. It's gaining traction now more than ever. And that's cool. I like the game. Please do better. Please. I'm rooting for you. Please do better. Please. Anyways, it's no wonder why this reaction came out from the fans. This, the current plan is to be on mobile, both uh, Android and iOS. Uh, we don't have any plans at the moment to do uh, PC. Do, do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys that, all have phones. Phone. Right? You can play on your tablet too. They aren't booing because it's some misogynistic plan against women or because they're super entitled as Diablo fans or whatever the fuck you want to just straw man up, right? It's not because of any of that shit. It's because these fans are pretty much demonstrating what Blizzard has lost focus of. Blizzard has shown that they have little to no respect to their fans or consumers and are more interested in following the golden bricked road than actually fixing or improving or reviving a franchise that has lost steam yet still holds some of the most dedicated gamers out there. There's nothing wrong with Blizzard attempting to go down the mobile route. I mean nothing at all, really. They could do it however they please. They've been doing it with Hearthstone after all and I'm sure they've got more mobile games in mind for the future, the issue comes down with this insult of a game that they dished out to the fans. When they said, you all have phones, right, after they booed, to many others it really sounded like <laughs> which translates to please shut up and speak with your money. Which you all should. If you really, really don't like Diablo's sudden move to the mobile market then speak with your wallet. Don't buy shit. We all know there's gonna be a microtransaction market with the game so just don't buy anything. Simple as that. You can't stop them now. Blizzard will continue to create whatever they want with this mobile Diablo game. It's gonna come out, and we're all gonna download it. There's no way any of those one-star reviews are gonna change anything. Speak with your wallet and do what you think is best. <sighs> so this next part, I don't really have a script for. I'm just rambling, so please bear with me. Listen, I understand that I, it doesn't really make sense that I'm talking about this because I'm not a Diablo fan. I really am not, so I can't have this focal viewpoint, you know, that everyone else has. I don't have, like, a pinpoint accuracy fucking hitman like 
sniper aim at the developer's head you know i'm just looking at this as someone who's outside seeing a company that i definitely am familiar with and i recognize since my childhood suddenly crash and burn there was a reddit post that stated how you know they used to trash games they used to just get rid of games that they felt was not up to snuff they they felt that those games were not up to the blizzard quality right they got rid of it and they just remade it and they made something new and now they're just pushing out this game with the help of a chinese developer who has been part of this chinese market and yada yada you know what i mean it's it's insulting there's nothing more than that it's just insulting they don't listen to their fans and they used to i i would like to believe that they still do in fact but this is something else this is messing with something sacred practically right i mean what if somebody just straight up said yo citizen kane was rad as fuck we're gonna modernize that shit we're gonna have citizen kane Oh, everyone's a puppy. Everyone just is a Disney movie. Everyone's a fucking puppy. It's Citizen Pug. It's fucking great. This is what every. Oh, by the way, it's on Netflix only, and uh, it's an interactive story like that one fucking uh, what's it called the PS4 one. Gato. What the fuck is his name? The stupid Puss in Boots. That's his name. There's nothing more to it. It's not entitlement. It's not misogynistic. Just because I guess more women play on mobile. Fucking who cares? It's none of those things. It's the simple fact that consumers, while they're not actually getting fucked, they're just not liking the fact that they're not listened to. There are many things that Diablo fans want from Diablo 3. Many, many things. It's even mentioned during that question. That guy who asked, that Blizzard dev, uh, if this game is going to come out on the PC, he said that there are many changes in this version of the game that have been implemented that the community's been asking for and begging for, and it's in this mobile game. And yet, they're not putting that in Diablo 3? Really? That's crazy. Or they're not putting that into Diablo 4? I mean, I have no doubt that they are developing Diablo 4, and maybe this is something to hold over until Diablo 4 comes out. But really, this is... It's not... You're not doing it the right way. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what I would want, because again, I'm not a Diablo fan, and I... I guess I won't be for some time unless I get the fucking, you know, Diablo game for the Switch, which will be bomb because I want to play that game with my girlfriend. But until then, honestly, you've not only alienated your own fans, but you've alienated people who probably had some interest in this game in the first place. It's it's terrible to see such a great franchise go down like that. And there's nothing more else to be said. Thanks everyone for watching. Hope you liked that little part. And I'll see y'all next time. Love y'all. Goodbye.